So a complex number can be written as r e to the i theta. So when r is equal to 1, z is a face factor. So in problem 1, I stated, can you see why we could ignore the face factor? And I went over two problems to show you that you could. So what does it mean to ignore the overall face factor? It means we can multiply any state vector by a constant factor e to the i theta, where theta is a real number, without changing the state vector's physical appearance. To see this, let's multiply this equation by e to the i theta and call the result b. So we can say, multiply this by e to the i theta, and we get that b is equal to e to the i theta times a, which is going to equal e to the i theta times the sum of j times alpha j lambda j. Okay? So note that we change the index in the summation i to j, so you won't get confused from i being the imaginary term and j being the component of the vector. So it's easy to see that b has the same magnitude as a because e to the i theta has a magnitude of 1. So when we do the inner product, we can say b with b is going to equal a times e to the minus i theta, because there's a bar, so we complex conjugate the a, with the inner product of e to the i theta times a which is just going to equal a a, because e to the i theta has a magnitude of 1. So that's really important. So the same pattern of cancellation preserves other quantities as well. For example, a's probability amplitude, a j, becomes e to the i theta a j, because we're multiplying it. And that's going to be for b. So you can see the probability amplitudes are different. However, it's the actual probability not the amplitude that has physical meaning. If a system is in state B and we perform a measurement, the result will be the eigenvalue of lambda j. So the probability can be written like this. We have a star j times e to the minus i theta times e to the i theta times alpha j. And this, because that has a magnitude of 1, we can simply write it as we did before. Okay, and of course this is the probability of lambda j, which is equal to all squared, like that. So, which is the same result which you get for A. Finally, let's use the same trick for the expectation value of an emission operator L. So we know that the expectation value of an observable L is equal to B L B. So we substitute B for e to the i theta A, we can get a e to the minus i theta of e to the i theta a, like that. Or this can be written as the expectation of L is equal to a a. In other words, L has the same expectation value in state B as it does in state A. So when you're dealing with state vectors, you can completely ignore the face factor and make your calculations a lot easier. That's good.